culture is um, a kind of mass hallucination designed for middle-aged people. <laughs> because culture works best for them. You know, when you're less than middle-aged, you're trying to figure out the rules of this collective hallucination. If you're past middle age and you have been paying attention, you know it's bullshit, and so you don't care anymore. <laughs> so it's, it's a peculiar kind of ideological fascism that is in the control of uh, a certain age group who is leading some people in and tossing some people out because it's become irrelevant and the way the way this the reason people can get away with this is because people uh, you have a like a hormonal maturation process which is forced upon you you have no choice about getting pubic hair and sprouting secondary sexual characteristics and so forth and so on but by the time you're 20 or so you are that the change has come you can reproduce you can have sex you are now an adult it means you are now the, the classic thing is you can now buy beer that's so indicative to me of what that form of adulthood means. What it means is you are now fully empowered to participate as a complete idiot <laughs> in this society. No one will interfere. And, you know, we have some flavors we want you to choose from here. We've got the Democrat and Republican flavor. Check one or the other. Uh, we have the Methodist, Presbyterian, Holy Roller, check one of twelve, please, uh, so forth and so on. And you're handed all these cultural credit cards, essentially. You get the keys to the car, not to reality, but to culture. So then, if you buy into this, and it's no sin to buy into it, or it's an excusable sin, at least in my eyes, because I did it. There are no other excusable sins except the ones I did, but uh, <clears throat> this happens to be one of them. Uh, you accept it and you say, okay, well, I'll get a job and I'll get uh, a significant other of the opposite gender and I will uh, fit myself into this weird paradigm. In less for some reason, genetic, hormonal, good fortune, to, you, you are uncomfortable with it. You say, I don't want it. I want something else. I don't know what it is, but I want something else. Well, then it's all set up to say, okay, so you're a tough case. You don't, you don't want to go work at the paper box factory. <laughs> So you want something else, say, all right, check it out, go find your something else. And this breaks most people, because it, the something else, if you're a Methodist, is not Mormon. The something else, if you're a Republican, is not Maoism. None of these things work. The only something else that isn't tainted by the perverse nature of the game is the psychedelic experience. So far as I can tell, it and it, there only has to be one doorway. I mean, we're not in the business of finding doorways here. We're in the business of trying to get outside the cultural van. There only has to be one method that works. And... Uh, this, I think, is it. It is so counter expectation. And again, I don't know who I'm talking to in this room. There may be people in this room who are saying, yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. That's right. Been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. And there may be people who are saying, I don't understand what this guy is talking about. Uh, any of it. It makes no sense at all. Well, what we're talking about is the fact that culture is not reality. Culture is a, a mass hallucination of some sort. <laughs>